Hi Monica, this is Lee with Craftsman Direct. And uh, we are at 1228 Fairlane. I make these to make sure we got the right house. Um, um, yeah, you're right. The, uh, the driveway, I'm sure, has looked better. Um, uh, let's see. It flares at the end, but we've got an approximate width of one, two, that's three paces, which is running nine feet roughly three foot of pace and to come all the way out to the curb and uh, let's see how far back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 19 feet back to that seam because you've got that corner here that's cracked. Um, uh, they've got some more cracks back here. So let me continue walking in the event we can basically let's try a preliminary of get the bad parts and, and let me kind of focus on some of that. Um, there's so many shades and shadows here. And I want to make sure that I can get my mason some good data. And that's got a pretty good ledge on it, Kevin, if you can get my big butt out the sun. <laughs> um, and uh, obvious roots coming up. Um, and uh, let me give you some depth perspective. Okay, so with that guy sitting on the ground, you can see how much this is coming up. I don't know, what is that? Height, four or five inches with that thing. Um, and I actually see pine roots in there that's got to be cut away. Um, I don't know that resurfacing would help. Um, here again giving you an idea of how many ledges are here getting up close that's not a pine what is that oak elm elm yeah you see how that one rises up there i mean this height is easily three or four or five inches um so i don't know if i call it plan b but let me continue walking back because there's some cracking forward and actually the forward is only four feet, but it goes back. Well, let's take a look together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve more paces at three foot per pace. So, um, gosh, what is that? Almost 40 feet, 36 right there, because of this stuff and you're going to have to tell me where you really want me to stop um, but I've got cracking continuing even past this mark into the little driveway in the back and uh, as you have a for sale sign on this house I'm guessing this is to uh, uh, to liquidate this asset but um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the edge of the house right here um, here again um, there's cracks they're light cracks compared to the front side um, this back pad I'm not real sure but uh, let's get some numbers in case one two three four five six eight nine ten eleven at 33 feet going from the edge of the house and then across um, that's nine, which is 27, and then you've got this little chunk right here, which would be 15 feet by 12 feet. Um, there's really nothing here significant in the little chunk except this crack running across 
like that going towards the house to the corner and um but uh trying to be prepared we can certainly do this in parts and pieces walking out slow Kevin so you can see um, basically a stone on one side and the other side looks like they actually laid a two by six down and gave you a firm edge um, thinking in the vein of resurfacing if you have a beautiful brand new driveway you might want a beautiful brand new walkway as well um, four feet wide Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's about eighteen feet. Sorry, eighteen paces, which is uh, fifty feet. And then at the end, we have a little flaring here. Um, <clears throat> pretty house nice neighborhood um, but here's a resurfacing issue again these roots are pushing this thing up and making its life awful Kevin we've got a dip here sinking divots aren't hard to deal with it's all of this coming up like that anyway um, thank you for the opportunity to allow us to bid for your home improvements and we will have you a quote in 24 hours Now this is weird. You got sailing. You got another one. Another one. And that's for rent. And I would have sworn there was a couple more up the street for sale. Kind of looks like a neighborhood liquidation. And a very, very bad time to be selling houses. But a good time to be buying houses. 